Look at this, guys. I'm a film photographer. I'm a real film photographer now. Yay! <laughs> Today, tonight rather, we're going to be doing some night photography. First time shooting portraits at night. What better way to do that than with some Cinestill? I'm going to be repping this lens on the channel for a very long time, so get used to it, okay? Yeah, it's the 85mm f1.2. We're shooting that tonight, of course. Um, just makes sense. It's a 1.2 aperture. You know, when you're shooting in low light, you want as big an aperture as possible. So I'm hedging my bets by shooting 800 speed and shooting at wide, or well, close to wide open at least. Um, because I have found shooting wide open to be quite a challenge on this. Um, I've shot quite a few rolls with it now, maybe four or five rolls. And there's so many shots where I'm just slightly off. We're going to be shooting with Ribs and Leo. So thank you to Ribs for organizing this shoot. I've been putting off shooting since for the longest time just because it's so friggin' expensive. But Analog Wonderland were doing a good offer, actually. Just, it was meant to be. By the way, look how cool this light is. This, this light is pretty impressive. It's just an LED panel, like a cheap one, and I shoved a pillowcase over it just because I couldn't be bothered to set up the softbox. And it's not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Just before we get on with the rest of the video, give us a follow at Zane Reza Photo on Instagram. Give us a little subscribe if you're liking the vibes. Ribs and Leah also made a video over on their channels of this very shoot. So go watch their videos after this one. Let's get on with it. Three, two, one. See what happened earlier but i brought a cannon and it's dead no batteries that's my fault so i'm shooting with this now another cannon but this cannon 7 rangefinder never done portraits with this so saying speak to your audience so i'm going for this one got the 85 f 1.2 also shooting with the sinstil 800t the only thing that's lighting the scene right now is just a couple of street lamps. So I've got Dre, I've got him lined up here yep. in the middle of the street. I want to use these leading lines and like really get that nice blurry background. looks cool so maybe look into the window yeah hold that there perfect three two all right sick cool 
<laughs> We've instantly made him hate those hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like spot heal the shit out of the side. <laughs> Yo, this is where we came to drink when we were hanging out with Alex, wasn't it? Yeah. There was a little bar set up right here. That's it, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it might be too hot. What do you think? There's only one way to find out. That's right. <laughs> it's for YouTube. A crunch. Is it good? Mm. That was so good. He doesn't even do the pre off the breath, man. He's just like, you know. <laughs> guys so that's the shoot um i hope you enjoyed that um just quickly want to say thank you to everyone who was involved thank you to leo for getting those incredibly smooth beautiful cinematic shots i know you had a great time shooting all that all the shots that looked like they were shot with a potato uh the gopro footage that was shot by me but all the really beautiful shots were taken by by leo um, thank you to Dre for being an awesome model and thank you to Ribs for organizing the shoot and for bringing that sick, that dope little RGB light. I was so impressed by how compact it was. It literally just slipped into my coat pocket, no problem. And it was you know, really, really powerful. 100% want to do this again. 100% want to shoot uh, Cinestill at night with the 85 f1.2 and bring my own RGB lights out. Um, it was a lot of fun, but I would do it with some improvements, which I will allude to, even though I had a lot of fun with those guys. <laughs> it was great shooting them, got some food after. Um, but when I did get home and developed the shots, I was, I was really disappointed with myself because um, I got a bit lazy. I just shot the camera on auto, on aperture priority, which I really should not have done. And as a result, um, the majority of my shots on that roll, on, on Cine Steel, which is really, really painful, um, came out really underexposed. Basically, I, what I realized was that the A1, the meter in the A1 was metering for the brightest parts in the frame. So a lot of the times the neon lights would be the brightest part in the frame. So what ended up happening is that Dre would be underexposed and you would you just basically not appear in the frame at all. So what I will do next time is to manually meter for each frame, for each scene really. Um, that's what did, that's what did. That's what Ribs did on the night and um, so shout out to Ribs for being a good photographer and I'll just give a few more thoughts on the shooting experience with the lens, the f1.2, the 85mm f1.2L. Um, I know a lot of you guys want to know all about it. Um, I'll just say a bit more, I'll do, I'll save my in-depth thoughts and sort of all the nitty gritty details about this lens and shooting with it for a separate video. But I honestly, I just don't have a bad thing to say about this. I really, I really can't because whatever drawbacks there are about this, so like say the weight and the size of it, it's just completely, you just don't care. You literally just don't care about it when you see the images that it renders. Like it's just such a unique look, that compression, the, the sharpness and detail, um, the, you know, the bokeh is just, Extraordinary, it's, it's outstanding. I just love it. Um, the way it just separates the background from the subject, it just, it, it just, I don't know, I'm, I'm sounding like a complete and utter fanboy because, well, this this is what this lens does to you. It turns you into a complete fanboy. Um, yeah, I will say though, focusing at f1.2 at night is not for the faint of heart. Um, you know, uh, for example, especially in this photo, this photo is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So what I thought I had done, you know, when I shoot sort of close up portraits, I always want to focus on the eyes. I, any sort of portraits, you just want, I always want to focus on the eyes. Everything else can just sort of disappear into bokeh, I don't care. But the eyes, I want to be in focus. And at f1.2, you'll see how incredibly thin that depth of field is. So his right eye is in focus, but his left eye 
is in soft focus. I thought at night, you know, looking through the viewfinder, at the time I thought both eyes were in focus, but lo and behold, they are not. I'm not saying that I hate this look. I would have much preferred it to be the other way around. So I would have much preferred that his left eye were in critical focus and his right eye were in soft focus. The way that it is now, it just looks a bit off. It looks unintentional, it looks like, I, it looks like a mistake, which it is. If I were to do this again, uh, I would probably have his face dead onto the lens and not side onto the lens. Um, that way, if his face is front onto the lens, both eyes would be sharp um, and in focus. If I were to do these sort of side on profile shots, I'd make sure that I am focusing on his eye closer to the lens, but I'd also probably shoot um, maybe two or three frames on top of that at f2 or f2.8 just to ensure that both eyes are sharp and in focus yeah as i said before i'm definitely definitely going to do another shoot um you know a similar shoot just because i really want to get you know i really want to sort of correct the mistakes that i made so i've got you know i have another roll of cinesil and i want to do that again with the 8512 i will get my own rgb lights um I think Ribs, Leo and I are combining forces again this week um, since lockdown is coming to an end, woohoo! Which means, at least for the foreseeable future, I won't have to do any more bloody home workouts. Who enjoys home workouts? I, no one, no one does. So businesses are opening again, gyms are opening up again. So I think we're gonna go do a street photography shoot um, out on the streets. Um, so if you don't wanna miss that, obviously subscribe, hit that little, picture of me in the corner um like comment share follow all that stuff uh, uh, follow me on instagram at zane reza photo buy a print from the print store if you want to help the channel out like and subscribe guys hope you enjoyed this one with all that said and done keep learning keep shooting i'll see you all in the next one peace